So I wanted to do a little spring garden tour update for those of you who have followed me and seen that I put out my stuff that I started from seed and I also planted seeds. That was in the video that I told you guys that the time lapse did not work um, but I showed y'all afterwards the end results and so they have came up a little bit since then and I've moved the zucchini spaghetti squash and um, straight neck squash and the tomatoes, all of those things that were hardening off in the carport, I moved them to out here. And so here we have my salad bed and it's looking pretty good. Those radishes definitely appreciate being in here a lot more than they do in the seed tray and so does that romaine lettuce it looks like. The spinach is looking kind of, it looks kind of questionable. but. I'm going to water again this evening. I just watered last night. I think I have a critter, an armadillo, that's getting in my stuff, so. Um, but then we have, these are the turnips that I planted, and they're all coming up nicely. And so, there's that. And then my cabbage and broccoli and I'm pretty sure this is turnips that flew away like when I was planting them over there it was a really windy day and I'm pretty sure this is turnips that the seed just went over and and it made itself a home there and so I haven't planted out the rest of this bed I haven't decided what I'm going to put there yet and these are tomatoes that is cucumber tomatoes. All of those are beefsteak tomatoes except for that one. That's cucumber. And this one is a store-bought tomato. You can tell the difference. Um, this one was already ahead of the game. That is a Sweet 100 cherry tomato. And so then these are some more that I put that I put in the bags for my from what I started from seed. These are my squash, straight neck squash. Those are a couple more cucumbers that I started from seed. This is the zucchini. I've got to spray for pests and I'm actually, some of these need to be like, this one's good and full and you can tell it's stronger. Um, I have to get used to this camera being a lot closer than my phone would be. Um, but some of them need added. This is that little fella that I said, the smallest zucchini. But these need um, more soil. So I'm going to add some soil and water this evening. But then we have the spaghetti squash. And so that's my little spring garden time some of the weed and grass killer took but not a lot it was it's just every day that it's warm enough to get out here it seems like it's it's so windy and so it makes it hard when you're spraying poison you I have dogs and cats and that's those things and I don't want to just be spraying poison all over the place like when I sprayed the other day there ended up being a patch way over there that that died from the poison and I sprayed way over here so that's how far the wind took it and I was like no 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 that's not what we want okay and so here we have the tomatoes and peppers this is that unknown um I think it's a yard long bean this is the jalapeno pina, jalap, can I talk jalapeno. <laughs> jalapeno that I started from seed <laughs> and then these are the store bought that Uncle David brought us. They are Park's Whopper Improved CR Tomatoes. And these are the store-bought green bell peppers that he brought us. And then a yard-long, excuse me, a yard-long pepper that he brought us. So those are coming along nicely. And today what I'm going to do is put the burlap around here like I was talking about I was going to do. Those are doing nicely. I don't know if you can see really well 
with yeah I think I'm gonna like this camera yeah no baby those are wild I didn't plant them they're coming along got rosebuds all over the place there's one two three four That's four buds that I'm seeing. Oh, that one that's bloomed out. Oh, yay. Oh, man, that's so beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, and it smells so good. You see this rose? You want to smell it? Smells good. It's really good. If you know what these are, please tell us. Yeah. Also, there's garlic coming up. I planted two garlic here, and one of them pop up. I got carrots that popped. All of this stuff is going to need a good water this evening. You can hear see it. But I have rows of carrots here. And so, that's a close up. They're popped. You just can't tell it until you get like super close. But yeah, so that's that. Hey guys, I desperately need a tripod. But um, what I'm doing today is I'm going to spray my squash and my zucchini and probably go ahead if I have enough I'm going to spray everything and just get some more um, but this is a fungicide it helps with molds and any kind of fungal problems on plants as long as as well as um, spider mites and like white flies and insects and pests and things like that so I'm already seeing some issues and I'm not sure if it's pest or if it's a fungal so problem so I'm just gonna spray this on it and it's usually a one and done top deal. I've also got a top dress seed. So I went through and kindly got most of the ones that had um you know see so I have spots like this. Like this is and I'm not seeing anything on it but just not sure and so what I'm gonna do with these and I'm not telling again I'm no professional this is just what I do when I have something that's uh, for the most part dead like this I'm gonna go down at the root and I'm gonna use my fingernail and just break it off normally I try not to strip it or anything like that because you don't so I'm just gonna try to make it an even You don't want to like just pull it down and let it run. Um, so, but you see how these are kind of. Not only do I have the pest issue, but I have this issue where they're kind of. So I'm gonna top dress these, all of them probably, because they're getting kind of top heavy and they, I'm just not comfortable with the I'm trying to get used to looking through the camera rather than looking. But um, I'll get used to it, guys definitely need a tripod like I said but I'm gonna just top dress those and then I'll probably top dress my zucchini as well I just don't like how this is I don't like this it needs it needs to be more stable than that if I'm gonna depend on it making me some and supporting some rather large vegetables and so that's what I'm doing
reason why I cut off things like this, not only is because if it has insects on it, you don't want it to spread. First of all, it gives you a chance to look at closer at what you might be dealing with. Second of all, and see, I see fecal matter from an insect, so that definitely is an in insectal issue that I have, not a fungal issue, and so that lets me know that. Also, the plant will overcome, it'll, it'll, it draws energy from the plant to try to restore this rather than put that energy into the plant to grow the plant. And so that's why I make sure to get that off of there. So it's not wasting its energy trying to recover from that rather than putting the energy into making me some vegetables. never use Nemo. Um, it's not good to use it when it's scorching outside. Just like you don't water in the, you know, in the midday, you're not going to want to spray anything on your plants when the sun is beating. You want to wait until it's, see like right now, the sun is over there. And so, as you see here, the sun rises this way and sets that way. And so the sun is setting almost now. And so that's, that's the op this is the optimal time to do dressings and things like this because you're going to want to water it in. You either want to do it early in the morning or you want to do it like right now when it's not in direct sun. So that I sprayed that on here and then I'm going to water it in. So just like you don't water midday when it's scorching, because it can scorch your plants, you don't want to spray anything on them either. It's safe to just go ahead and say whenever it's safe to water, it's safe to spray. I've already sprayed all these. I actually ran out, so I had to get some more. That neem oil is good to have on hand. Try to use is organic or natural, non-toxic, you know, insecticides as I can. but there was like 25 of them. Oh man, that was awesome. This is a beautiful view, by the way. How pretty. Okay, I'm almost done here. This is supposed to be a steady fly. I don't know what happened there. Was it? But I'm going to have to figure out. You guys tell me what you know about this. Usually I would trellis these, but this is a whole lot of plants to trellis. So, if you've got any recommendations, let me know. If you think it's okay to just let them like fall over um, or if they need to be staked up or what. I really haven't decided what to do there. But these are looking better, more stabilized. So.
That one was just a flopping around and see. Now they're not much give, whereas they were just flippity flopping. Now it's not as bad. And that's what I'd like to see more support. All right. And so that's that. Thanks, guys, for joining me.